Hello all, welcome to Embedded Linux Learning Point, a learning platform for anyone who wants to learn Embedded Linux and Internet of Things. In this series of videos, we are building an IoT platform called Sense and Act. In this video, we will build a toolchain for BeagleBone Black and Q Emulator. In the previous video, we have built and installed a toolchain generator called Crosstool NG. So now we are going to use this Crosstool NG tool to generate toolchain for BeagleBone Black and Q Emulator. So we can build different combinations of toolchains using Crosstool NG. The Crosstool NG comes with a set of samples that cover many of the common use cases to make initial configuration easier. So we can generate the list with this command the bins ctng list samples. Let's generate the list. So we have installed the Crosstool ng in the ERP dev, the tool chains and then cd Crosstool ng. So this is where we have the tool chain installed. Tool chain generator is installed. And then the command is bin ctng and list samples. List samples. So you can see there are different combinations of uh, tool chains that we can generate. So, for example, you can see the one certain combinations are with ARM core and the bare new lib Cortex M3 NO MMU or no MMU EABI. This is one. And the other combination with ARM is ARM Cortex A15, Linux GNEU, EBHIF, and things like that. Or the these are the different combinations of configurations that are available for us to use. Okay, let's now start building toolchain for BeagleBone Black. The toolchain has to build according to the capabilities of the target CPU. In our case, the processor in BeagleBone Black is of ARM Cortex A8 core and it supports a little Indian operations and the floating point support is there. Yes, so the VFPV3 is the floating point unit. Since the Beagle Bone Black has plenty of RAM and storage, we can use glibc as the C library. So out of the, the list that we have seen, the closest sample is ARM Cortex A8 Linux GNE ABI. So we can see the default configuration by prefixing the name with the show. So let's do it. So bin ctng and then you can see the, the, the closest one which we have chosen is the ARM Cortex A8 Linux GNE ABI. I need to do a show here. SHOW hyphen and then you can see the configuration is the language is C, C++. OS is Linux 4.2.20.8. It has binutils version of 2.32. The compiler is GCC 8.31, sorry, 3.0. The C library is glibc 2.29. Debug tools, GUMAN. Okay, this is the debug tools. It provides the GDB, the L trace and S trace. The companion libs are these things. The expat, get text, gmp, libelf, lib, con, mpc, mpfr, incursors, and clib. So here for the beagle bone, the only difference is eabi in the the available configuration and which passes floating point arguments in the integer register but as we see it it has a hardware floating point facility 
So we need to use the EA BHIF, BIHF to use the hardware floating point registers. So this we can change during the configuration. So now we can select this target configuration with bin ctng and the arm codex 8 lib, uh, linux gne ea bi so with this the configuration is written to dot config and we can run the con we can start the configuration as the bin ctng menu config So if you see this, if so if you have seen uh, configuring the Linux kernel, it looks the same. It's it it is similar. The 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 interface is similar. So there are certain there are two. So there are three parameters that we need to set here for the BeagleBone Black. So in paths and mis miscellaneous options, we need to disable reader, the toolchain read only. This is necessary if we want to add libraries to the toolchain after it has been installed, which we will see in the later stage. So in the paths and the miss options, we need to remove the reader read only Okay, it's here. So render the toolchain read only. This we need to remove it by uh, by pressing space. It gets removed. And the the next is in target options, floating point select hardware. So we need to select the FPU unit. So we'll exit and the. the target options and then we have a floating point floating point we need to select the hardware okay so we have selected the hardware fpu when we selected the next thing is in target options enter the neon for the use use specific fpu so if we see the the the, the data sheet we will see that the fpu is neon so use specific fpu we need to use neon okay so now the configuration is done we need to save this to config then exit Okay, so the configuration is done now. The next thing is we have to build the toolchain with build command. So bin ctng and then build. Well, probably it will take more time based on the CPU resources. Once the toolchain is built, we will find the toolchain in the Xtools ARM Cortex A8 Linux GNEAB HIF. So let's wait till the toolchain gets built. So now the toolchain is built and it is installed in home British Xtools. ARM Cortex A8 Linux GNU EAB IHF. So this is where the toolchain is installed. If you see the so we can see that it's under Xtools, under home and Xtools directory. Well now we have installed the toolchain for BeagleBone Black. Let's install toolchain for Qemulator. <laughs> So as we did for BeagleBone Black, we begin by running the BeanCD ng list samples. So 
So for beagle bone black, what we need is uh, arm arm core with the Linux GNU Linux as a so Linux kernel and GNU as the OS. So I think it looks this is going we're going to use ARM unknown Linux and GNU ABI. So we use a generic target known as ARM unknown Linux Gen Linux GNU ABI. So you can see the default configuration by running the show. So we can run the show arm unknown Linux GNU ABI. So we can see that the language is C++, OS is Linux 6.0.2, the binutils is 2.39, compiler is GCC 12.2.0, glibc is 2.36 and this is the debug tools and the companion libraries. So before we start building, we need to clean the workspace so that uh, the so that what we have built earlier, the configurations and all are cleaned up. So now the, the workspace is cleaned. Then we select the toolchain, select the configuration. And also, we need to uh, run. Now we run the bin ng menu config, and in that we need we'll just update the render the tool chain read only, and then we save it. Save and OK. Exit. Exit. Now we can build. So as the case with BeagleBone Black, even building for QMU also will take some time. Let's wait until it finish the build. Well, now you can see that the build is fine and the tool chain is installed. So for both the BeagleBone Black and the KMU, we have the tool chain installed in Home and XTools. You can see both the tool chains here. So we will use the same for building the for building Linux and the necessary applications thanks for watching if this video helped you in learning please like the video and subscribe to the channel also share with anyone who is interested to learn more about embedded linux and internet of things leave a comment below for any feedback or discussion